and show you this side which of my tomatoes as you can see I need I started to do the Florida weave and like I said I didn't get out here for more than a week because of the heat wave and not only have the weeds sort of taken over but the plants have all fallen over so um, hopefully today I will be able to enlist the help of somebody and be able to get these um, plants standing upright again. They actually, they have a good amount of tomatoes on if you look close. Um, the, this section right here are all uh, paste tomatoes. See, there's quite a few clusters of tomatoes if you look. You know, they're, they're really all over, but it is so just overgrown that you really can't see. Now, here, these few are a uh, beefsteak tomato. Which again, you know, they've fallen because they've gotten so big and I've neglected to continue the weave to hold them up. So I'm going to have to uh, fix that today. And these over here are Rutgers tomatoes. So, and they're doing really well. They're so strong. They're all just standing up on their own. They're like sort of like tree, little tree trunks. So I'm very happy with that. That's the first time I've ever tried a Rutgers. So um, I don't have any have not any but too many tomatoes on yet um, they're really just starting so I don't know I was a little bit afraid to plant them seeing that they might be a little bit of a, a warmer climate tomato but I figured in the greenhouse it gave me a little extra time but um, you know we'll see they definitely have uh, flower clusters and stuff so you know I'm gonna give them some time try to straighten out this mess here and down here I don't know if you can see but that's a um, California Wonder Bell which is doing really well it's the first time since I've had this garden here that I've ever been able to get some peppers on and ripened because it's usually too cold here but obviously in the greenhouse it does the trick I mean they're not giant let me see here if I can find one there is one right there you know it's not it's not a giant pepper, but it's not tiny either, so I'm happy with that. And over here, there's two more right there, one there and one there. They both have peppers on. This one right here is a um, Hungarian wax pepper, and it's just, you see it, it's just loaded with nice peppers. I'm going to actually harvest some of those today because it's putting on new blooms too, so I'll harvest them and give it a chance to get some on. And then um, over here are some more of those freebie tomatoes that I got. That one over in the corner there isn't looking too well. I'm going to have to trim it back some more. But, uh, you know, they were looking really crappy. I wasn't even sure that they'd live. And now they look pretty good. There's a couple in here that were um, branches that broke off of um, some tomato plants that were out in the big garden. And... Um, I didn't, I just stuck them in here and they grew, so I just left them. That right there is another one of the, uh, one, it has a couple little tomatoes on. I'm so surprised. It's one of the freebies there. Anyway, I have a grow bag that fell in there during the storm last night, but, um, pretty much that's the greenhouse, you know.